Okay, so Premiere Pro, to me at least, has a notably bad workspace by default. It's like when you open the program for the first time and you see the editing tab or the learning tab, I find that those tabs, though you can technically use them to edit your video and probably be okay, are not the most efficient and well laid out for like the common content creator. So with that in mind, and as an answer to a few of your guys' comments, I'm going to show you my workspace and just kind of overall what I've chosen to do and why I've chosen to do it. So I have my project open, right? As if you're going to make a new project. That way you can see immediately what it will open to. Uh, let's just call this, you know, tutorial project. If you're new to editing in Premiere Pro at least, and you just got the software, or maybe you just haven't ever changed it, this is what you'll start with. We can go ahead and modify this editing workspace and then save as a new workspace. So that way you don't mess up the old one, but you can make your own brand new creation here today. So what I do and how I like to lay my stuff out is obviously you saw the tall timeline. I take my timeline, you can click and drag here, make sure that little window pops up next to the mouse, click and I'll drag it all the way to the far right till it goes green. And now that that's gonna be the farthest right of my screen. You can also do that on the left alternatively if you want to, but timeline goes left to right, so I'm gonna put it on the right. Um, anyway, let's stretch this over here to give us some more room. Let's squeeze this over here because I don't need my waveform or my audio peaking and my tools that wide. Um, again, now down here, I'm gonna go keep my project. I'm gonna close the media browser by pressing close panel on the three lines. Graphics templates I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of libraries and info, markers, because I don't need any of these things in history. I don't really use any of that. Maybe you do, maybe you wanna keep it. That's perfectly okay. I just don't. This being said, I'm going to take the effects panel and I'm gonna drag it over here and separate it from my project to my effects because I like to have all my project files in one area, not cluttered by any other tab and we're gonna keep it there. Properties, I'm gonna go ahead and drag down here as well to the effects panel, and I'm gonna keep it like this because I noticed that I go back and forth between effects and properties a lot, um, but I don't wanna clutter up the effect controls panel because when if I'm in my timeline and I have a video clip in the timeline, I want to be able to modify the properties of that clip here while modifying the effects here. Now the program here is in the center. This is where you watch back your video, of course. Go to metadata, I'm gonna close this out. Audio clip mixer, I also don't use it that often. No, I do use it. I'll just open that up temporarily when I need to. Of course, now I need to add back in the things that I actually need to use. So go to window and let's just start from the top, right? I don't need that, of course. We already have the meteors in here. Let's go ahead and add an audio track mixer. I'll just add it up there to the top left window. That's where I like to keep it. Let's go to window again, Lumetri color. It'll bring it over here. I like to bring my Lumetri color up here as well. Stretch that back. You'll notice that it likes to resize your window. It's kind of annoying, but Oh well. Wilmetric scopes I use when I'm using Wilmetric color. However, I noticed that I need to use that a lot less than Wilmetric color, so I don't add that in there. Keep going down all the way until we find text. I'll drag text over here. And that's all I have in my workspace pretty much. Once in a while it will change, but for the most part, I have my source here. So when I, let's say I import some media, now we actually have the video itself. We can see that there's two layers or you know three layers each. If I go to the audio track mixer, you can see each track of audio. I also can access my effect controls here. And let's say I want to add an effect like a Luma key as we always do in all my videos, right? We'll drag that on there. It's the most annoying effect possible when it comes to running back on your computer. Uh, and I wanna modify this, but I wanna modify the video properties themselves so I can still scale my video up and work over here and do something else with the effect back and forth simultaneously. That way I don't have to scroll up here and scroll back down to my effects then scroll back up again. It's just separated, it's nice. Um, and again, you can come back over here effects, do what you gotta do, drag it on your footage. It's really nice, clean and clear. Um, let's say I wanna modify the color. Again, click your footage, we'll measure your color. There I go. Um, and, and it makes it really easy just to stick in one window in one workspace to do all the work from. So now that we're done, in order to save this as a workspace so you don't have to redo that every time, window, workspaces, and don't press save changes to this workspace. Now this is a default Adobe one, so you can't actually save on top of it, but you can save as a new workspace by pressing save as new workspace. Title it what you want, press okay. And now you'll see that if you like went to your workspaces up here, or you went to window workspaces here, you can find the workspace you have. I have all these workspaces. Now I have removed those from over here so I can have a quicker tab, but 2024 tall timeline is my tall timeline. It looks a little bit different than that because I've slowly modified it over time. And uh, this is my timeline. This is what I work with. Obviously I have all the things I just mentioned here. So I hope this helped you. I hope this gave you some insight because I know that a few of you have been asking in the comments what I've done to change my workspace and how I made it look the way it looks or at least 
Maybe you don't like that one, but you wanted to change your workspace and you didn't know how, now you do. I hope you helped you guys. Let me know in the comments. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys soon. First video filmed with the setup. It looks a whole lot better, I hope. We gotta get some wall art. Uh, we gotta get some other stuff. We got some janky Christmas lights right now, but hey, it's almost Christmas, so. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.